boy. Pam. Meets girl. Hmm? I love you. Meets father-in-law. If I find that you are trying to corrupt my firstborn child, I will bring you down, baby. Ben Stiller rubs Robert De Niro up the wrong way. In Meet the Parents, Boxing Day at 8.30 on BBC One. Christmas night on BBC One. So are we then? What? Are we getting married? What have you got there? 12 bottles of mineral water. <laughs> Little tip, never go shopping when you're thirsty. <laughs> Welcome to a very special Christmas celebration. Spend Christmas with BBC One. on Horses Christmas Day special tonight at 9.20 on BBC One. We'll nail these jumpers. I can't imagine somebody thinking they could get away with a thing like this. Don't. Don't. I just have a word in there. Well, look, everyone saw it. I told Dawn how I felt and she, you know, she said no to me. I'm not going to ask her again, obviously. I might ask her again. The Office Christmas Specials begin Boxing Day at 10.15 on BBC One. Alfie and Kat's wedding day and Phil's planning a Christmas surprise of his own. Two visits to Albert Square tonight on BBC One at 6 o'clock and 8.40. But right now, it's news time with George Alagaya. Christmas Day violence in the Middle East. Five Palestinians are killed. Then the first suicide bomb in over two months, three dead in Tel Aviv. A tribute to British forces, the Queen's Christmas message goes on location. And silent night, British scientists are still waiting for a signal from Beagle 2. Good evening. At least three people have been killed in a bombing at a bus stop in the Israeli city of Tel Aviv. It's thought to be the first suicide attack in over two months. The Tel Aviv bomb came just minutes after Israeli forces killed five Palestinians, including a senior Islamic militant, during a helicopter attack in Gaza. The aftermath of yet another suicide bombing. It happened just outside Tel Aviv at a bus stop during the rush hour. In the ensuing chaos, it was difficult to reach the scene. But soon it became clear that Israelis were among the dead and injured and that the bomber was also killed. This was the first suicide attack in Israel since October, when 22 people died in a restaurant in Haifa. But with little or no progress between the Palestinians and the Israelis, the killings continue on both sides. In Gaza, an Israeli gunship killed a senior Islamic militant and four others in a missile attack as a revenge for the shooting of